Okay, I'll get you started on this problem. Over here is a graph depicting the situation. You get points A, B, C, and D uh, joined by these three line segments, and we want to interpret the definite integral from 6 to 13 of f of x dx, and that's the area under the curve from 6 to 13. And if the region is under the x-axis, the region, the area is treated as negative. And if it's above the x-axis, it's treated as positive. So what you have to do is find the area of each of these rec uh, triangles, one, two, three, and four, add them together, but treating the areas of one and three as negative and of, of two and four as positive. Now, how did I find these points of intersection? I'll give you an example to, I found the equation of the line through A and B using point slope. The slope from A to B is seven halves and point slope gives us this. So when Y equals zero, I multiplied both sides by two sevenths and added six. And I found out that X is 50 sevenths. And of course the Y coordinate is zero. So that's the coordinate of this point right here. So for example, to find the area of rectangle or triangle one, this green dashed line represents the altitude or the height of the triangle. And the distance from here to here is the base. So for triangle one, the area of triangle number one is one half. The base is the distance between this point and this point. That's uh, right minus left, 50 sevenths minus 42 sevenths, which is really just a six, uh, times the height, which is uh, this distance right here, which is four but we treat that as negative because the area or region is below the x-axis. Okay, I'll let you take it from there. Uh, we can see that this would be what, negative one half times four times eight sevenths. So it would be negative two times eight sevenths or negative 16 sevenths. So follow the same pattern for triangles two, three, and four. And add them together and you've got an interpretation of this definite integral. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.